The other job that we had to do was to create the pilot suits. We had been given sketches by Kate Holley, the costume designer. It had the color schemes, it had the kind of overall information for us to take and add our flair to. We then took those and converted those shapes in 3D sculpture over the actor's body scans. Once the approval is complete, then we were able to put the suit parts through the process of 3D printing and then put them into the workshop of the studio, sanding and detail finesse work that has to be done by hand. Each suit had over 100 various parts, and that's 100 parts that have to be molded, cast, cataloged, assembled, have multiple sets run, and so on. We will try to have a pre-fit with the raw suit parts to see how the parts are lining up, how they fit the body, if we need to make any modifications or anything. It's rather like martial art fighting that's going on, blocks and punches and, and various things. So luckily, everybody in, in the production understood that the suits that work in the con pod had to have that kind of action and that, that ability. So there's a lot of fabric areas, a lot of flexibility, unlike an entirely armored piece. We did water tests to make sure that the suits were durable enough for the water, but also agile enough for the actors to be able to swim. In the story, every country has different types of Jaegers to help defend their continent, and they all have their own personality. The Chinese suit has, has a certain angular look. The Russian ones have a, a really kind of steampunk, classic del Toro sort of look. The Australians were really quite cool. And the two types of American suits were very contoured and smooth. And you know exactly who's who. We made a very early American suit that reveals even more layers and depth to the chest. All of that stuff is really character-driven, character-oriented stuff. We had a great deal of fun doing stuff that some other director might have given over to a digital company to do. There's a specialty spine box. We built this box where the spine comes out and it's got kind of this electro life, it almost looks insect-like, and that gets set into the spine and kind of clicks into place. There's also the sub-layer called the circuitry suit, an undersuit where all of the nerves of their body kind of connect and it had a circuit board look to it. So we created a specialty fabric to accomplish that. It was very fun to make all of those various bits and pieces.